Hello everyone, we're going to be installing our new prototype FK8 Civic Type R throttle body. And the first starting things we need to take out is our battery. So I already took off the terminals. We're on a lithium seven pound battery. Look very lightweight, we'll grab one hand. And then we have our Willade Sports floating tray. This is what was already in our car. We already unbolted it. Put that away. From here, we have pretty much full access. On this car, we have the HKS blow-off valve and charge pipe. So um, it might be, obviously, stock's going to be a little bit different, but, you know, virtually the same. So after we unbolt our mounting points here and our clamps, then we could just, we have enough room to just pull off our intake hose. And then we're going to take out this coupler, exchange it with another coupler, and take out this throttle body and exchange it out with a larger throttle body. And I'll show you the differences on the throttle body. And now that I have my hose off, my hose is off, I'm able to pull the throttle body out. And now we're going to compare to the throttle body that we're installing. So now we're going to compare throttle bodies. This is our Belayed Sports electric throttle body. It has a 70 millimeter inlet and the stock FK8 has a 62 millimeter inlet. It's pretty tiny. So actually, let me put this over here. It's easier to see. Compare it side by side here. So we are at a 64, actually a 66 millimeter inlet, and stock is 60 maybe like a 60 millimeter inlet into the intake manifold last time i saw 60 millimeters was on an old 1995 integra gsr that's how small these fk8 throttle bodies are by comparison so now that we have the throttle body pretty much mounted up we're just bolting it on tightening it up the brackets that hold the nuts on the other end are a real bitch. Where it was not fun to get get to because not like a regular like an aluminum intake manifold where the studs or the 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 bolts will be won't move or the nuts won't move. This one they're floating. So it's a lot harder. So here you have it. Throttle body is on with our little adapter plate. We look in the intake is much larger right here. We're at, we're at 70 millimeters. We got our hose hoses on for the coolant. And now we just need to plug it in and stick on our coupler and charge pipe. As, as you can see, the charge pipe got, went straight in with our coupler. We had to get a reducer, which we're gonna update these pipes to two and three quarter inch because the throttle body is 70 millimeter. 70 millimeter would be about two and three quarter inch. So we're gonna probably change out these pipes and upgrade in the future. But this is just to show you that it can bolt onto a relatively stock a charge pipe. there bolting everything back up oh here's a look before we fire this thing up batteries on charge pipes on vacuum lines on all our sensors are on so you can see right there okay here it goes first startup Since we lost a little coolant taking out the throttle bar, we definitely want to get all the air pockets out after we reconnected our hoses and basically re-bleed the system. This car already has an overheating problem, so what we're running is Evans waterless coolant. So far that's been what has uh, helped us get through our overheating problems along with our grill here, our bigger grill. Okay, so far idle is working perfectly. Idle, 
were idling perfectly, so no vacuum leaks, that's good. So our gaskets are sealing. All these lights are from us taking the battery off, so once we drive it, it's gonna turn itself off. Okay guys, so the biggest question will be about this new throttle body is, what is the, what is the difference what does it feel like is the difference and with a bigger throttle body you're always going to have more airflow so the throttle response with the bigger plenum and the bigger uh, throttle plate should be quicker more like a, a drive-by cable engine versus a drive-by wire engine which is always a bit slower so this is the stock this is a stock type r right here i'm going to kind of give it a, a rev and you can kind of see the how the delay you can see my foot and you can see the delay Like right when I floor it, you know, there's about like a half second delay. And then now this is the Type R with the new throttle body. Sorry for the, the glare. We're gonna, you can see my foot here and then you can see the throttle, the RPM. Kind of hear it a little bit more. cruising around testing this new throttle body you could see right on the dash there the throttle percentage so if I just touch it a little we got two percent one percent just give it a little here and there and so far that little dip is the only thing that happens it only so far only happens at uh, when I free free rev it in neutral it doesn't stall out it just kind of dips out a little bit and then comes back up kind of like a little bit of a shutter i think that's going to be probably be due to the tuning because we haven't tuned the car yet uh this car's tuned but uh, not with this new throttle body so this is the only change we've made but when you're driving it, never, it absolutely never does that only if i sit there and rev it when i'm uh, at idle so now green light so i'm just gonna show the driving condition kind of feel a little doggy especially in first gear when you start going but in this that's where you feel it the most is in first gear you can feel it like immediately wants to start to go and uh, you're getting more air right immediately like right now it just goes it didn't feel like there's any sort of lag in the throttle response this is what I normally feel on the stock throttle body and so there's a there's a good plus you know I'm very happy with the way this turned out now we just want to test reliability and basically I'm going to just drive my car every day and you know try to get make sure nothing happens set a, a track event make sure that you know it can take abuse you know the, the motors don't have any problem and we'll just keep going we'll just keep trying and then once it's ready for release then we'll let everybody know